Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Barba223. If you don't know me, welcome to the channel. If you do know me, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing some new world content and I want to tell you guys about some tips and tricks to use when you first get the game. As you know, the release date is coming up, guys, so we are very close to having New World. So what am I going to do? Well, if anyone is new and looking to get into New World and have some questions, I'm going to tell you things that I learned from the beta to help me get better in the New World and get more into it. So let's just get right into it. Number one is try different weapons. Now. When I say try different weapons, well, what do I mean? It's simple. Exactly what it means. Try different weapons out as you're leveling up. Because here's the thing. If you're going to try out one weapon, for example, if you try out a fire staff and a nice gauntlet and you level that up and you end up not liking it, boom, all your other weapons are level one. And you don't want that. You don't want to start over. So what I would suggest is in the beginning of the game... Make sure you try out all the different weapons you can find, test out some skills, test out some mechanics, and see which one fits your play style the most. It's really that simple. Um, why not get as much experience with all the weapons as you can? Not only is it going to get you to closer to deciding what weapon you want to use, but it will also help you understand the mechanics for when you go up against those weapons in PvP. So I think it is a really good thing to try out different weapons and just absorb as much information and experience as you can. So that is my number one tip. Um, let's move on to number two. So number two is, for me, this is a really important one. Um, it's just to simply enjoy the grind. Um, what do I mean by enjoy the grind? Well, I would say what I mean by that is leveling up in New World seems like a, honestly, it seems like a cinematic experience. Um, as much as, as crazy as that may sound, New World's New World environment is very vibrant and colorful and has a lot of places to see and explore. And I don't think the best way to experience New World as an RPG MMO is to just power level. Like, nobody wants to do that. It's not the best way to experience it. And on top of that, not power leveling is a better way to play New World because you're going to get better at the game as you go rather than just spamming missions or quests over and over just to get to the highest level. And the reason that is is because when you do that, well, number one, you're not going to see the game and be able to know what's going on. Number two, your skills won't be good. You're not going to be well-rounded. You're not going to be skilled at the game this way. And number three, your weapon level will be lacking. You do not want your weapon level to be lacking while your level is high. It's just not going to work out. So I would suggest to play the game and not worry about leveling up to the max level in the first day or week, or whatever you want to say. I would say play the game, enjoy the game, follow the quest line, play it with some friends, enjoy it, and join a community. It's, it's, an, it's a grind, I think, but it's a fun grind. So I think that is my second tip, is definitely just to enjoy the, enjoy the process. Don't rush it. So with that, we can move on to number three. So number three would be to join a guild or a company. It's called a company in New World. So joining a company is very important, in my opinion, for a couple reasons. The number one reason would be this. If you have questions, you can ask your company because typically a company or a guild in any MMO is much more helpful than just the general area population chat. Um, it's much more helpful to get be communicative with your your guild or company because they're going to help you out. Um, they may even help you with missions. They may help you with dungeons or expeditions as they're called in New World. Um, they may also help you out with resources if you're trying to do a quest, a town board quest. They may help you out with crafting your gear. They may um, take you around different paths that you you, you know help you get resources. So these are things that are very important in New World, and joining a company is going to help you out a lot. Another aspect um, of joining a company is being able to have a group to PvP with. So joining a company is going to allow you to do a war, it's going to allow you to join those larger scale fights, and not have to be outnumbered and be part of something that's not just you running around by yourself. The progress in, in New World is much quicker when you're in a company. Because you don't have to do everything alone or with one other person. You can do it with a group of people and have a group of people helping you out. So it really is very important to join a company. Um, whether it's just friends, it's a group of people you know online, it's a people group group of people you don't know. 
um, it's it's good to join one regardless so make sure you do that because I I think it is a very important thing to do so again join a guild join a company whatever you want to call it join one and actually put some effort into getting to know those in the company because it will help you out trust me <clears throat> so with that we can move on to our fourth tip um, my fourth tip is going to be simple it's nothing too crazy so I think is very important to mine and get resources while traveling to your destination so the world of new world is huge the map is gigantic there's a lot going on so oftentimes when you get a quest it's going to make you do something and then it's going to make you travel pretty darn far to talk to someone or kill enemies or do this that or the other right so what you want to do is when you do have those quests you, when you're running there you have auto run on when you see resources or a tree or a rock or anything like that you're going to want to mine it and there's a few reasons why you want to do this number one it's going to again help you enjoy the grind rather than power leveling um, all your resource levels because that's not as fun if you're just doing it in the flow of the game it works a lot better so you're going to want to do that trust me it's a lot easier that way um, you need your level up. You need to level up your thing, um, whether it's uh, woodworking or uh, mining or any of those resource uh, skills. You're going to want to level them up to craft things that are better, have access to better uh, crafting materials, and doing so in a natural way is more beneficial than it is to just go all out in one one go and just grind everything all the way up. I think it is. You know, it's a lot less feel. It doesn't feel as time consuming to just get resources while you're running to a quest or, you know, stop at a rock and do that real quick, slowly but surely. You're going to level up everything you want to level up. So I think it's important to do that. Um, don't ever hesitate to mine resources on your way to a quest. It's that simple. It's going to help you out in the long run. Trust me. Either it's it's very useful. So that's it for that. Um, so I would say our last our last tip. Um, would be participating in PvP. I know if not everyone in MMOs are a PvP type of player. But here's the thing. PvP in New World definitely has some incentive. The biggest incentive being it's fun. But the other incentives um, include getting better at the game. You're, you're understanding the combat mechanics. You're understanding the way P people move. It's going to help you out in PvE as well. You don't have to be the best PvE, PvP or ever. You just want to get involved. Now the XP version... Um, you know, the XP part of this is the fact that it's going to level up your weapons a lot quicker than any other way in the game. So participating in PvP and getting kills or getting assists, whatever it may be, it's going to give you extremely higher uh, numbers in terms of weapon XP. So very good way to level your weapons up, very good way to test out different weapons, and a very good way to simply unlock more skill points. So I think it's a very good uh, thing to take part in. And in my opinion, I think the end game of um, New World is a lot of a lot of PvP, a lot of wars, a lot of 20v20s, smaller scale even. So I think that's the you know the epitome of New World for me at least is PvP is going to be very very fun. It's gonna and at the same time, it's kind of in the same um, atmosphere as if enjoying the grind, right? You don't have to get to the highest level to PvP. That's one of the better things about New World is that you can PvP at a lower level and still compete, although the open beta did make a mistake by making the PvP level scaling a bit too extreme to where uh, lower levels kind of got destroyed. I believe they're going to fix that in the actual game release, so let's hope they do. So I think it's nice that they reward people for PvPing rather than diminishing people for being a lower level. Um, no, no one wants to be punished for being a lower level, so I, I think it's a good thing. But... Another thing about PvP is that in New World, unlike a lot of games, is that everyone joins a faction. So um, there's three of them, I believe. They're Marauders, Covenant, and what is the what is the purple one? I can't think of it at the moment. I apologize, but there's three factions, and purple, green, and yellow. And when you're a part of a faction, you can take part in PvP missions, which help out your faction. Um, your influence in that area so if you get enough in that area you can start a war and try to take over the area and you get extra bonuses such as XP and extra resources this that and the other right so definitely taking part in PvP is going to be rewarded 
through your faction bonuses. So PvPing is very important. You don't have to necessarily be killing everyone and destroying everyone to help your faction or help improve your gameplay in New World. You can PvP, do missions, and help out your faction in a bunch of different ways. So I think it's a very good thing. Also, PvPing, uh, doing missions in New World for PvP, is going to allow you to buy the faction gear with the credits you get. And the faction gear is pretty darn good in the early stages of the game. Which leads me into my next tip, is utilize faction gear. So, um, when you get the game, you're going to see that every faction, whether it's green, yellow, or purple, has their own set of gear for leveling up and getting credits for doing PvP missions. So, using that gear is very nice. Because not only is you can you customize the weight of your armor with that gear, but you can also change the traits on it so you can get a constitution, intelligence, whatever you want to get, you can customize that. So that's the most important thing to me is that being able to customize your gear with the faction gear is going to put you ahead of the competition. So yeah, I mean these are just beginner tips that I think is very important to someone just trying New World and they haven't had a taste of it yet. And it's very important to me so um, basically all I'm going to say is it's going to be a long grind but it's going to be a very worth it grind it's a game that i'm going to enjoy the crap out of and i hope you guys do the same um i'm going to make sure i do time stamps for the different uh tips down below again the five tips are experiment with weapons number two enjoy the grind and don't power level number three join a company because it's going to help you um in the long run number four mine and get resources while running around the map because it's going to help your level slowly but surely and number five participate in pvp whether it's actively killing people or doing faction missions to help your gameplay so yeah guys those are my five quick tips if you want more detail ask questions down below in the comments i will be happy to explain it and as always make sure you like comment subscribe and thank you for the support see ya